Hi guys, Toby Henderson, Box Components. I'm here with Shane from BMX Ultra. And we're gonna take a tour of the Box corporate offices, headquarters, lab, warehouse. It's all in one place. We're gonna take a tour around that. This is my office. Shane's gonna kind of show some stuff in the office. There's some awards. My kid when he was three. <laughs> Old JT stuff. Trademarks. These are all the trademarks that we own between the two companies. There's also Box and ABC in this building, American BMX Company. You'll see all that as we walk around. I try to keep it clean, but I'm busy. The Henderson Jump, I don't know if you guys remember that. That's Krona when we filmed on Any Sunday 2. I won my very first big race that day. Made some cash, went home. My mom didn't make me go to school the next morning. I made a lot of money that day. They told you to take a call the cowboy? Yes, which is, is that say, yeah, that's what Oz wrote. And it's funny, I don't boast in, it's kind of weird for me to say this, but this is actual Bob's signature. I got this from him two years ago when I went and saw him in Montana. It was the one photo he has, he doesn't have a lot of stuff. The one photo he had in his computer, he pulled out and pulled out this about a hundred million dollar printer mm -hmm. and printed this to by five times where he liked what he had, liked what he saw. Printed that and signed that for me. And uh, I asked, uh, why'd you call me the Coca-Cola Cowboy? And I never really knew. And he says, well, I was looking for a name. At the time, it was the Rhinestone Cowboy song was pretty hot. Oh, yeah. And he was looking for a name. He thought I was kind of this flashy dude that, and he was just, you know, cause I like Dr. Pepper, man. <laughs> anyway, so Coca-Cola Cowboy I came because of the guy, Rhinestone Cowboy. How does that work, right? So that's, that's, some good history, right? So this is the hallway, Vice President Ken's in that room. Um, this is the conference room, we're gonna come back in there. Purchasing goes in here. And this we bought him this little bike to ride because he thought he was cool. <laughs> so our little Walmart Yamaha bike that we ride around the warehouse. Um, you can see all the jerseys, all our world championship jerseys, right? Um, we probably have some more. We just quite a quick taking care of them. Willer's jersey is up there. There's some, you'll see some more Aussie guys or New Zealand Kiwi guys over here. But yeah, there's, I know you guys know all Mark, but Mark helped us launch this company um, back in the day. So some fun facts. Okay, so there's two, he's number two in this one. He's number one in this one. So I think when he came to ride for us, he came to us with number two and he left over with the number one jersey. Oh, that's Yeah. So, Anyway, this is me, 79, first year pro. You guys remember that? This is when I came to Australia, right around that same time. And came down and rode with all the guys. And uh, it was 1980 when Raleigh sent us around on the Wagon Wheel Project. <laughs> the Wagon Wheel Tour. Uh, went in a big race, 1983, which the biggest, probably the biggest race I ever won. But this is the way it was in 83 with all the gaps of people in there. And this picture's reversed because this is what they printed the magazine from back in the day. And uh, everybody in this race has a one digit number. That's how the main events work, man. Pair down to get to the best eight guys for the day and have at it, right? So 20 years later, my mountain bike career, I ended with Giant. Rode for Iron Horse for a long, long time and I'm 38 years old in this photo. Still 15th place in the Grundig World Cup. This is kind of weird, I don't know. One of my employees found this in Taiwan, but all logos are blurred. So I, I don't know how that happened. I think they did a lot of that's going on there. But anyway, yeah, my last year as a pro. So 24 years as a, as a pro bike rider, two disciplines, pretty proud of that, obviously. I can talk about myself all day long. <laughs> so here's the box warehouse. All right, um, come over here, that's Jojo over there. Jojo, you're on camera again. Hey Jojo. Hey. So, uh, well, will you get a bunch of stuff in? Whoa. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord. Who's it coming from? Do you get handlebars? Oh, no, no <laughs> handlebars. Brake kit. Oh, boy. Oh, brake boy. Brake kits and seat posts. Oh, brake kits and seat posts. Okay. Yes, All sir. right. All right. So, yeah, this is Box's warehouse. There's about 700 SKUs in here. There's nothing from ABC in this building. There's carbon handlebars there. Ooh. That's the kid stuff, right? I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully somebody's buying all that stuff. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, nice. Moving some stuff. Thanks, Christoph. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Jojo has a pet peeve about cleaning this place. Awesome. Oh, that's some stuff on the ground, Jojo. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. I don't know. He's pulling orders, headsets, bottom brackets. We're always out of forks, all right? Uh, yeah, so I said 700 SKUs on this side of the building. All BMX rates 100% and mountain, because you know, boxes have mountain bike drivetrain. 
So uh, we're working on that too. You, you won't you get to see all the fun stuff in the lab, but you'll get to see the lab. This side of the building, a big hole in here. This side of the building is American BMX company. It's frames and bikes, as you can see. Van just came back from the Grands. Sorry, it's a little messy on this side. We don't have to know many people working with the company on this side. It's relatively a new company. But yeah, these are all bikes, frames, and some retro parts of boxes they sell to their customers. There's the 26 and 29 inch tires. We got Botima forks, I think they're over there. A lot of trip other stuff there, warranty bin, sorry for the mess. <laughs> yeah, but this company really has only been shipping product for one year. Right. Yeah, so it's only one year old, really. The company's three years old, but we've only been shopping product for literally 12 months, maybe 13. This is the lab. We can't show too much in here, but you're allowed to film. Just don't say, Harrison, we can see you. We're not in here, right? <laughs> one of our engineers, Harrison. But this Maybe. is where all the kind of magic happens. Well, that's all the prototyping, testing, everything we do here. We don't, uh, we're not screwing around, okay? So a lot of drivetrain, a lot of hub, fork stuff down here, with 3D printers, measuring machines. What's that measuring machine called? I always forget. Uh, DLM. DLM? DLM. DLM. Yeah, I don't know what that means. There's, there's, uh, <laughs> so there's, there's a, there's job back here. So there's a bunch more jerseys, right? Um, Camel's a Kiwi, there's another Wheelers. Yeah, I've got a lot of Wheelers here, so we'll leave here for a while. Right? This was a marketing room at one point, but, you know, they became the lab. And we started doing so that's why you have the orange wall. It's called the barn. You know, because it's this big barn wall here. <laughs> All right, so that's the lab, guys. Uh oh, it's dark in here. Here's the shop. We've got automatic lights on the, I'm cheap. So the lights turn on. <laughs> mess with you guys. <laughs> What's well, fun? So I can come down and really have some fun with you guys if I ever get invited down. Yeah, right? right? Absolutely. So here's the shop. Um, this is where we work on the bikes. You know, we got a couple bike stands and all the tools and stuff like that. And here's the ABC bikes. Um, oh, this is the right. Yeah, this is the one I'm going to ride tomorrow. We talked about it in the other video. Uh oh. I guess I won't be riding this bike tomorrow. <laughs> we're gonna go see Jorge and get this bike to work. How's that? Um, and then we're going, we're, this is all mountain bike drive train stuff. You know, we don't want to shoot close up to some of this stuff. Okay. But there's my e bike. Um, all the prototype stuff goes on the bikes that we try. Um, so, we, you know, like we said before, we have the mountain bike drive train that we're working on. There's some prototypes there on these two bikes. Um, just a slew of old bikes over here. It's, when actually ABC moved in, I just gave away probably 30 bikes. I just gave wow. away. We just have too much stuff here. Can't, can't fit it all in here. Is that a standard color, the pink? No, uh, we sell the frame, yes. Oh, right. So this is Art's, uh, our general manager, Art. That's his daughter's bike. The Cook Brothers prototype Cook Brother cranks. You can see that. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a chromoly is Cook it? Brothers. So it's a Cook Brothers shape, but chromoly. So it's a, a blend of profile, red line, yeah. and Cook Brothers. So we'll see those things pretty soon. Those pet sets gonna come out standard? Um, this here? Yeah. Yeah, we already sell these for no, quite a while. Pet sets. Oh, no, he had his daughter in. That's a Louis Vuitton. Oh, you're kidding. No, a Louis Vuitton material, see that? I don't know where he got it, but it's Louis Vuitton material. <laughs> Louis Vuitton material, the seat and oh, the pads. Yeah. I don't know, but, you know, he loves his daughter, right? <laughs> right, why not, right? So I think she's worn it twice, maybe two oh, times. Right. Yeah. I think she got that for her birthday or something. There's the gold color that we're going to be selling on the Neo Retros that we saw earlier. We also own Botima Forks. We're the distributors of Cool Hara Bikes, which this is the ET bike. We sold every single one of them, right? So we have the 40th anniversary ET bike. We have the rights to that. So we sold that through Universal Studios. Um, every single one of them, I should have bought double of them. Gone like that. <laughs> All my e-bikes. I'm an e-bike guy now, yeah. right? So uh, I can't ride the hill for nothing. <laughs> my downhill bike, people are using that. So I think Thomas used that downhill bike. And I have a kid who's really good. He don't care, that's some of his stuff. <laughs> um, down over here is the sales department. And we'll talk to Jorge. Jorge, here. Yeah. So tomorrow morning, this is Jorge. This is Thomas. Hey, Jorge. This is Shane. You remember Shane from the other day? BMX Alter? I'll show you. He's filming live, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. Hey, the black 29er. I got to ride that tomorrow. I thought it worked. There's no brake cable on it. Can you get that ready? Yeah. Okay. 
Can you make the thing work? Make sure the rear end, yeah. Uh, what happens, Shane, is I write all these prototype stuff and sometimes a bike doesn't work. Can you make sure it works? I saw those fission tensioners that are on it. I think this time it's, it's gonna... Be sure. I, 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 I think it's that is fine, I think you're right. But the chain, I think it's tight. The brake cable, I think, is broken or something. Yeah. Okay, and these pedals on it. Pump up the tires, please. Please, because I have to, because I'm on my own tomorrow with the van, so some oh. of my people have, some of our people have COVID. Oh, so, so yeah, that's why no one's here. Yeah, yeah, They're not here, yeah. So, so I have to do this whole thing myself tomorrow. I don't have a driver or anything like that. And I'm supposed to, somebody's supposed to get back to me and drive tomorrow. I'm kind of want to let you have a break. Poor, he just drove to Grands and back in the van. Oh, we're trying to, we're, try, we're trying to give him a break. <laughs> Marathon man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he worked his butt off while he was there. They did both did a great job. Um, is that the? That's an old rim. Oh, I was going to show you the rims. Carbon fiber. They're looking in the carbon. What's that? The carbon ribs? Yeah, I don't know. We're just we're just taking a tour at this point. <laughs> no big deal. So uh, anyway, so this is sales room. There's Tammy. She runs the Belfire track. I know you guys visited her this week. Yeah. Yeah. It is Christmas here, as everybody might know. And front door. And we're back to kind of where we started, but that's box. That's ABC. And you're with Shane from BMX Ultra and Toby Henderson from Box. See you guys.